just in this new video. Uh, this is the president during his tour. Uh, he was in Tuscaloosa, and that is where he was before he's planning to head uh, to watch the uh, the shuttle launch now that it's been scrubbed, but that was the original plan. So let's uh, let's listen to what he had to yeah. say there in Alabama. Well, M Michelle and I uh, want to express, first of all, our deepest condolences uh, to uh, not just the, the city of Tuscaloosa, but uh, the state of Alabama uh, and all the other states that have been affected by uh, this unbelievable storm. Uh, yeah, we just took a tour, uh, and I I've got to say, I've never seen devastation like this. Uh, it is heartbreaking. Uh, we were just talking to... Uh, some residents here who uh, were lucky enough to escape alive but have lost everything. Uh, they mentioned that their neighbors uh, had lost two of their grandchildren uh, in the process. Uh, what you're seeing here is uh, the consequence of just a few minutes of this extraordinarily powerful storm sweeping through uh, this community. Uh, and as the governor was mentioning, uh, Tuscaloosa typically gets uh, a tornado during the season, uh, but this is something that I don't think anybody's seen before. Uh, in addition to uh, keeping all the families who've been affected in our thoughts and prayers, uh, obviously our biggest priority now uh, is to help this community recover. Uh, I want to thank uh, Mayor Maddox uh, for his extraordinary leadership. Uh, Chief Burgess, I know, uh, you know is, is having to deal with a lot of difficulties. One of the challenges uh, that the mayor was explaining is, is that the assets of the city, uh, a fire station that we passed on the way in, uh, police resources, uh, emergency resources, those two have been affected. Uh, fortunately, uh, the governor has done uh, an extraordinary job with his team in making sure that uh, the resources of the state are mobilized and uh, have been brought in here. Uh, I'm very pleased that uh, we've got a FEMA director uh, in Craig Fugate, uh, who is as experienced as anybody in responding to uh, disasters even of this magnitude. Uh, and we've already uh, provided the disaster designations. Uh, we've already provided the disaster designations that are uh, required to make sure that the maximum federal help comes here uh, as quickly as possible. Uh, Craig is working with the teams on the ground to make sure that uh, we are seamlessly coordinating between the state, local, and federal governments. And uh, I want to just make a commitment to the communities here that uh, we are going to do everything we can uh, to help these communities rebuild. Uh, we can't bring those who've been lost back. Uh, the, you know, they're, they're alongside God at this point. Uh, we can help maybe a little bit uh, with the families dealing with the grief of having a, loft, uh, a loved one lost. Uh, but the, the property damage, uh, which is obviously extensive, uh, that's something that we can do something about. Uh, and so we're going to do everything we can to partner with you, uh, Mr. Mayor, uh, with you, Governor. Uh, as the Governor is pointing out, uh, this community was hit as bad as any place, but there are communities all across Alabama uh, and all across this region that have been affected, uh, and we're going to be making that same commitment uh, to make sure that uh, we're doing whatever we can to make sure that uh, uh, people are okay. Um, that, that, that beat likes it. <laughs> it's a wall. It's a wall. Uh, um, you, you, you stand still. Okay. Got there you go. No, he got him away. He I, got him. I got him. I got him. I got him. Where's the secret service? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, Finally, uh, let me just say this. Uh, as, as you walk around, we were just talking to uh, three young people over there, college students uh, here at uh, the University of Alabama, uh, who are volunteering now to help clean up. One of the young ladies there, she actually lived in this apartment, uh, wasn't here at the time the storm happened. Uh, what you're struck by is people's resilience and the way that the community has come together. And obviously, that's a testimony to the leadership of the governor and the mayor, uh, but it's also inherent uh, as part of the American spirit. We go through hard times, uh, but no matter how hard we may be tested, uh, we maintain our faith, uh, and we look to each other to make sure that we're uh, 
supporting each other and helping each other. Uh, I'm sure that that spirit is going to continue uh, until this, uh, this city is all the way back. So, uh, Mr. Mayor, uh, he, he, he was pointing out that there's a lot of national media down here now. Uh, and the mayor expressed the concern that uh, perhaps uh, you know, the media will move on uh, in a day or a week or a month and that uh, folks will forget what's happened here. Uh, and I want uh, to assure him that uh, the American people uh, all across the country uh, are, are with him and his community, and we're going to make sure that uh, uh, you're not forgotten and that we do everything we can to make sure that we've rebuilt. So uh, with that, uh, Governor, would you like to say a few words? Uh, I would. And Mr. President, I, I would like to uh, personally thank you and, and uh, Mrs. Obama for coming and, and visiting Alabama. Uh, and because, you know, as you fly over this, and I, I did yesterday, as you fly over from there, it does not do it justice until you're here on the ground. And, uh, and I just want you to know how much I appreciate that. Uh, we asked for, uh, we, we mobilized the state. Uh, we uh, declared a state of emergency early on, even before the first uh, tornadoes hit. Uh, and then we mobilized our National Guard the first day. We then asked uh, the president uh, for aid, and uh, we asked him to expedite that, and they have done that. And I, I just want you to know how much I appreciate that, Mr. President, because all these people appreciate that so much. We have eight counties across the state uh, that have been hit by major tornadoes. This probably is the worst one, uh, but we have others. As you as you go across the state, you, you see this same uh, evidence of tornadoes all across the state. Uh, and so there are people that are hurting. We have now, what, 210 confirmed deaths in Alabama. We have 1,700 injured. Uh, we have a number of people missing at the present time. Uh, we're going to continue to work in a re uh, rescue type mode, uh, but we're now more in a recovery mode. Thank you, Mr. President. And uh, you, so if, you, if you'll keep him off of me, I'm going to keep my uh, we're, uh, look, we're looking out for each other. I appreciate that. that. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, but uh, uh, I am. Let me say, I am so proud of, of the, our first responders in this state. Uh, they have done an outstanding job. Our mayors. Our county commissioners, our police, our firemen, they have all just done such a fantastic job. Our EMA people, they have just, we, we have got a great team. They've all worked together. Uh, and now we have the federal government helping us. And, you know, that just shows that when locals and state and federal government works together, we can get things accomplished. And that's what we're going to do. And so, Mr. President, welcome to Alabama, but not under these circumstances. We want you to come back and maybe go to a football game over here uh, at a later date and uh, when when things are, are better. But uh, thank you for your help. I will gladly, gladly come back. Thank you, sir. So, Mr. Mayor, I'd like to say a few words. Mr. President, Governor, Ms. Obama, thank you for coming today.